How you doing guys and girls? I'll show you how to do uh, shark rig. Uh, we fishing from the from the beach, from the banks. So surf fishing. So what we have here? Crimper pliers, um, cutting wire pliers, regular scissors, uh, bell bearing swivels, crimps. We have a cable, seven by seven, 1.2 millimeter cable, 250 pound test, 49 strand, vinyl coating, vinyl coating. So maybe three feet. And also we have a monoline, 150 pound test, six feet. And hook, we have a hook, 40, uh, 24 zero hook and we have a couple hooks uh, 12 zero and we're gonna start um, and this is uh, we have a uh, uh, for the surf fishing if we use kayak so we're gonna put this stuff to the water you know dropping from kayak and Okay, let's start. So first of all, we have to do mono line. Take the mono line, take the bell bearing swivel. So I wanna show you more closer. Closer. So what we gonna do? Put to the eye. I'm gonna show you slower, you know. Put to the eye this mono line and do like this one time, two times, three times, and, and again put to the eye, you know, swivel eye, and like this, you know, like tie a little bit. And another end, we're gonna put two crimps. In case two, you can do one, but better to do two. Like this, you see? Put like this, so we do one, two, three, four, hold good, and put to the, another, hold the crimpers. Crimper pliers, squeeze couple times. Okay, what we got here, like this, and for more secure, put another crimps to the end. like this and we're gonna cut extra line and use again crimper plier one two three four looks good right looks good and and this is gonna be connect to the fishing pole line to the, you see, I have a braided line, 100 pound test. It's gonna connect to this 
swivel, ball bearing swivel. So, but it's later. Okay, so right now we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna use cable, three feet cable, 1.2 millimeter, 250 pound test, vinyl cutting. So what we do, put to the hook, do loop like this, one, two, three, and another end, put to the hook line, hook eye, like this, look, look how beautiful. Look how beautiful. Another end, we're gonna put crimps. Two crimps for the good secure, you know, two crimps. One. Two. And we're gonna wrap a couple times like this like this and put again to the cream another end and use the cream pliers One, two, three, four. Make sure you know you squeeze correct. So what we have right now, you see, beautiful. But this is just one cream. We're gonna put another one for the good secure, you know. Put to another. Another one, you see? To the end, you know? And again, crimpers. One, two, three, four, four. One more time here, a little bit, you know? You have to do everything correct, you know, because you're gonna lose the fish. Looks excellent, excellent. So we have a one leader, you know, one rig fishing the shark rig, you know. Very strong, very strong. And in, in case you see, I did another rig, but smaller hook, it's 12 0 hook, you know, because we, we don't have to waste time. You guys already, you see how I did the, with big hook, the rig. So we're gonna do, so this one, single rig for the shark. And we're gonna do right now, attach to another hook to do double rig, you know, double hook. So we put extra crimps here, you see in case and we're gonna put to the eye of one of the rig you see i show slowly put to the eye make a loop you see make a loop one Two, three, and put to the eye of the hook again, like this. And 
and little tie looks good and we have here extra crimps extra crimps so we're gonna put one end like this like this like this and use the crimper pliers one two three four Look how beautiful is it. Okay. And also one crimp crimps left. some crimps damages okay I got it finally and use again crimper pliers one two three Four. Excellent. So we're gonna right now we're gonna cut extra line. Cut extra line. I mean extra cable because this is cable. So very strong. And that's it. So we have a Two double hooks rig for the shark and we're gonna attach this to the bell bearing swivel we're gonna put two crimps again it's very easy put two crimps again you see And do it again, same loop. We do same loop. Like this. One, two, three. And put this end to the eye of the loop. The swivel. Very cool. And another swivel. We put here inside, you know, and what we do like this, you see, like this, and use the crimper pliers. One, two, three, four. Looking good.
and in case like always we do second one second creams you know if you caught the shark maybe four or five feet you don't have to put double creams but it's very strong but if you caught shark 500 pounds it's it's help if you have in, enough line if you fish from the sword so in case we put this one so you can put you you know you can use bonita fish you can use blue fish you know so like this and this line we're gonna attach to the fishing pole to the swivel of fishing pole you know the braided line and after braided line mono line going six feet you can do more and after mono line so we're gonna attach the swivel to swivel to metal leader you see very strong very strong but left one thing so we have a brick three hole brick we're gonna use 20 pound test line probably probably six eight pound eight uh, feet long the the line attached to the hook line hook eye or or swivel let's do on the swivel it's okay not big deal like this like this and we're gonna attach this brick with hole you can use regular you know the rock or something but this is more convenient you know you put on the brick like this you know one two three four five six put again like this and again like this and that's it and also what we do guys sometimes why did you do that on the brick okay and why we do this so we we use kayak you know to swim out from the beach you know and uh, we put this brick to the water because you you can use like for example eight ounces this uh, the sinker but it's so heavy and sh when shark far away when you got the shark it's so heavy you know shark it's sometimes a lot of seaweed you know and you got seaweed it's difficult to fight with shark so that's why we use the brick when when shark bite and you wait you know like uh, and shark break the line of the brick and easy to bring the the wind the line so easy to fighting with shark and also sometimes we put to this hole bait good bait like shrimp like chum bait you know the fish and we drop to the water and some scent you know the crab shrimp scent you can put even just on the brick it's good good attract the shark so thank you for watching guys and girls sorry for my not re really clear english you know but 
you know thank you so much and please see my another videos you know maybe help you know a little bit and thank you so so much thank you for watching guys and girls